Hello everyone, may the peace of the Lord be with you. I am really looking forward to special assembly today. I cannot wait to find out who's done that special thing that makes them stand out. Is it an amazing poem? Is it an act of kindness? Is it some real thoughtful acts? I can't wait to find out. So without further ado, let's find out what you have been up to. Take care everyone, bye-bye. Over the holidays, we set an Easter challenge for children to have a go at creating their own online safety poster. And the winner of this Easter's challenge goes to Ronnie in year four, who created his own 3D computer using cardboard and on it stuck all the different steps that you need to take to be safe whilst online. Well done, Ronnie, great work. Hello early years! I'm so excited to be with all of you today and to be nominating two more children for a special achievement certificate. So from our nursery, I'd love to nominate Zayan. Zayan, you've been working so hard, so consistently throughout all of this time at home. I've seen photos of you doing lots of maths work. I've seen photos of you practicing writing some letters. And Zayan, I'm really, really proud to see that you've been learning how to use chopsticks because in the early years, we have all different sorts of ways of building up the strength in our fingers so that we can be really good at handwriting. And I think that feeding yourself with chopsticks is a really good way to build up strength. And it's something that I find really tricky to do too sometimes. So well done to you, Zayan. Keep up all of your brilliant work that you're doing at home. And in our reception, I want to nominate Caden because for weeks and weeks now, I've been sent in photos of Caden's beautiful handwriting. And I can see that he's been taking part with all of our phonics lessons that I've been posting. And he's been writing all of his green words, which is absolutely fantastic, sounding them out. And he's even started to write sentences. Caden, I am so, so proud of you. And I I really hope that you keep it up at home. To all of the mums and dads who are posting videos and photos on Tapestry, I really appreciate it so much. Okay everyone, thanks again, bye! Hi Year One, I hope everyone is well and has had a good couple of weeks since we last had a special assembly. I want to say well done to all of the children who are working really hard, whether that's on the computer using Purple Mash or whether it's using your home learning journals or whether you're doing other fun things that are not on the computer. Um, well done everybody who is keeping those brains working, it's really important. Okay, so my stars of the week this week are two people who wrote excellent diary entries. Last half term, year one's topic was the Great Fire of London and we looked at a famous diarist called Samuel Pepys who kept a diary over the time that London was burning during the Great Fire in 1666. So my first star of the week who wrote an excellent diary is Alicia. Alicia, I loved how you told us about how you were feeling, which is a really important feature of diary writing. My second star of the week for an excellent diary entry is Aya. Aya, I loved your use of exclamation and different sentence types, and I thought that you wrote your diary really well. So, well done Alicia, well done Aya, and well done everybody else in year one. I'm really missing you, and I hope that you're keeping well. It was lovely to talk to you, most of you, last week. Bye. Hi Class 2, it's Miss Moses. Thank you, Class T, for sending in all your hard work. It's great to see everything that you've been getting up to at home, and I'm so impressed with how hard you've been working. This week, I would like to nominate two people. First of all, Callum has been working really hard on Purple Mash, and I love the pictures of your robot wars. I was particularly impressed with the way you put all those robots together with your recycling, and then had a robot war with your granddad. I heard that one of them had a special feature, a water pistol, and Grandad got a bit soaked, so I'm staying away from that robot. I also want to nominate Scarlet, who's on Purple Mash every day working really hard. 
I love your artwork, Scarlett, and I loved hearing about your new baby, a new baby sister. So congratulations to you and congratulations to all your family. Well done, Class 2. It's great to see all your hard work. Keep it up. I look forward to seeing it in the future and see you soon. Bye. Hello, everyone. It's Mr. Smee with Year 3's nominations. Now, there was a lot to choose from this week, as lots of you have been working hard on Purple Mash, as well as working on your own projects at home. So, my two nominations are one about Purple Mash and one about home learning. First up is Ryder, who wrote and illustrated a lovely series of sentences involving water, showcasing some particularly interesting verb vocabulary in doing so. Some great writing choices there from Ryder. Well done. Next up is Yusra, who, along with a lot of you at home, has been reading James and the Giant Peach by Roald Dahl. What Yusra did is very special. Uh, to showcase all the characters that are in this story, Yusra drew the whole cast as a big illustration to show how she can see them in her imagination while reading their descriptions in the book. But she wasn't just content to leave it there she turned all of those drawings into an interactive model, letting the user play with it and discover her artwork for themselves. Well done, Yusra. Fantastic work from the both of you. But it's not just Yusra and Ryder I've been impressed with this week. I've been really impressed with the quality of learning I've been seeing from lots of children in Year 3, as well as the stories I've heard from Year 3's parents telling me about their excellent behaviour while at home, and I'm proud of each and every single one of you. Well done, everybody. Hi, Year 4! I do hope that you're okay. Thank you to everyone who has been sending me their work tasks, and I've been enjoying reading them and marking them. Two children I have selected this week. The first child is Anaya. Well done, Anaya, for your fantastic reading comprehension. I know that each day when you are reading the task on Serial Mash, you are certainly thinking about those questions and answering them to the best of your ability. You're getting top scores. That's ace reading, Anaya. Keep up the very good work. The second child is Emily. Emily, I thought you produced a really thought-provoking piece of writing all about bullying the other day, where you shared your opinions about bullies, and also you gave some really good advice to others about how to cope with bullying. So, well done to you, Emily. Keep up the great work. For the rest of your year four, I miss you, and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye. Hi, year four. Hi. Um, as you can see, me and Miss Carla are in school today um, and we're very excited to be working together for the first time I since know. lockdown. Woo! Um, and then, yeah, we really, really miss you, don't we? We do, we miss you all very much. Now, our two nominations today um, are for the first one I'm going to um, introduce and it's Balau. Um, the piece that is going to show on the screen is about the Battle of Britain, which is our new summer to um, topic. And he's already done a really nice um, educational piece on it. But also for Bilal and the person that Miss Carly's going to reveal, um, they both worked extremely hard during um, lockdown and wanted more work and wanted that work to further their development and to, I suppose, keep in a routine, which has been amazing to see. So important. Really important. So well done, Bilal. Keep up the hard work. Over to you, Miss. Okay, so I've been hearing all about this person and how much they've been doing their work, not just last week, mm. but consistently since we went into lockdown at the start of March. And I'm looking now, and you should be able to see it on the screen, at a piece of work this person's done all about their ambition. Mm. And I agree with you, Daniel, it's you. Mm -hmm. You are amazing. Your ambition to be a footballer when you grow up is one that I think you're definitely going to achieve. I loved reading your news article that you wrote there and I also think that when you do grow up and you are a successful footballer that you shouldn't forget mm. us too yeah, and Miss Lila yeah you don't need to forget us but we, have, we have a little treat won't we yeah definitely so I'm going to say one thing to Daniel use your capital letters that was the only thing but I still like the piece because it's very inspiring I like the fact that you had your dad as a role model so nice. that's us for today bye you five bye, bye. Hi Year 6, so my first Significant Achievement Award goes to Jonathan who created a picture using a variety of texture and colour. Jonathan, I love how vibrant 
your picture is great work beautiful use of color and um, my second one goes to Tamina who created a Q&A style interview based on a main character in a book that she is reading at the moment and the book is based during the suffragette movement um, and so Tamina I love how you have really thought carefully about how that character is thinking and feeling when she's expressing her views and some of that passion and anger in her voice great work Tamina Hi everyone, it's Ronnie and you sits and I just wanted to say a prayer. Dear God, thank you for being here through these times. Amen.